It's never good to have a fluid leaking from your vehicle, but luckily there are a few ways to identify the fluid so you can figure out where to start your search for the source. Figuring out what's leaking from your vehicle can help you determine if it's not a big concern, something you need to get fixed soon, or a major issue that needs immediate attention. First, let's break it down by color. Mechanics can often use fluid color to quickly find a leak source, but odds are your mechanic isn't there with you when you spot a leak in your driveway. As we go through these colors, keep in mind that the clean, fresh fluid may be a different and often more vibrant color than with the older fluid leaking from your vehicle. Red is often the color of automatic transmission fluid. The tricky part there is that sometimes the power steering system uses automatic transmission fluid since the formula is exactly what the power steering system needs. There are even some manual transmissions that use ATF, but they aren't super common. In the US, specialty diesel sold for off-road use only is dyed red so people buying it to avoid road vehicle fuel taxes can be identified. Orange fluid is commonly Dexcool, the coolant used in most GM vehicles since the 1990s. There is also other orange coolant that is used in other vehicle brands. However, depending on what it leaked on, the color of any coolant may be difficult to determine. Orange is also the color of some washer fluids like this all-season formula. Yellow and green will depend on the shade. A darker apple juice-like color may be super fresh motor oil, gear oil, or moderately fresh brake fluid. A more fluorescent yellow to green color is typically coolant, especially in vehicles that use old school basic coolant. Some washer fluid formulas are also green, like this bug removal option. Some general purpose power steering fluids are an amber yellow color as well. Blue fluid is very likely washer fluid in most vehicles, but it is a coolant color being found in more and more vehicles. If the blue fluid is thicker, it may be a specialty motor oil like Valvoline VR1 racing oil, not sponsored, but odds are you know about that if you're using it. Specialty brake fluid may also be blue, but that's definitely not a common color for it. There are various shades of purple you may find, starting with the deep purple that Royal Purple Motor Oil is known for. As usual, washer fluid like this de-icer formulation also comes in purple, and coolant may be found in a pinkish purple color too. While you might not encounter it often, a grayish brown paste may be CV boot grease. By the time a CV boot rips, it may have had time to sling its contents all over the road and your suspension, and it probably turned black or close to it by then. You're more likely to find this material on your suspension than in your driveway. This material is also not clear at all. What about the lack of color? Clear liquids may be water, including water from condensation on air conditioning components, a completely normal occurrence. Some versions of brake fluid may be water clear when new, but those brake fluids tend to take on a bit of amber color as they are used. A little bit of water may come out of the exhaust as well. You may have noticed a lot of overlap in this video and are likely wondering how to tell what your vehicle currently has, or if you know that your vehicle has two fluids of the same color, how to tell them apart. To tell what you have, many fluids will be readily accessible from the engine bay. Brake fluid can be found here. You can check your engine oil with a dipstick unless the manufacturer decided not to include one of those. Coolant may have its color visible through the reservoir, but if it's not, you can check inside the tank or the radiator cap when the engine has completely cooled down. Never open a hot cooling system. Similar to the cooling system, the washer fluid is often in a tank that is clear enough to see the color of the fluid within. That's good to check anyway because you may remember that you topped off with orange, but there may have been some blue in there already, which mixed into a new color. Age and use will gradually change fluid colors too, so checking on your fluids as they are at the time of the leak is definitely helpful even if you know exactly what your fluids looked like when you poured them in yourself. So how about if you have a Subaru that came from the factory with blue coolant, use blue washer fluid, and upgraded to that fancy blue brake fluid and motor oil? Well, unless you are good at telling the difference between various shades of semi-transparent blue, you're going to need to use one of these techniques. Viscosity can be an easy identifying quality. Gear and motor oil will be much thicker than the others. Brake fluid will be slightly thicker than washer fluid or coolant. Those last two, washer fluid and coolant, are going to be difficult. They're both about the same color and viscosity. However, in this particular case, they tend to be concentrated in the same area. If you find a watery blue fluid leaking from the rear of the vehicle, the source of the leak is likely from a washer fluid component for the rear wiper system. The point of identifying the color is to help guide you to the source, and on a fair amount of vehicles, the coolant and washer fluid will be close to each other anyway. 
So what happens if you have a dark driveway and the colors aren't easy to spot? Well, besides looking for where the driveway stain is in relation to your car, you can also see how fluid reacts to water. Petroleum products float on water and tend to give off that colorful effect you often see in parking lots after it rains. Brake fluid is always looking to mix with water, so it's going to be diluted away by it too. Washer fluid and water are likely to evaporate away when the temperature allows for that. While it's best not to breathe in automotive chemicals in general, smells can also give you a clue about some leaks. Coolant sometimes has a sweet smell to it, and used gear oil has a pungent smell that, if you've ever changed old gear oil, you'll remember that smell. Gasoline is quick to vaporize and has a strong smell you're probably familiar with at the gas station. If you've now determined confidently what is leaking from your vehicle and aren't sure how concerned you need to be, here's a general baseline guide. Water dripping from your AC condenser after blasting cold air on a hot day is to be expected. Washer fluid leaks are nearly harmless, but be aware that since most formulas are alcohol based, they are flammable. Automatic transmission fluid, power steering fluid, gear oil, and motor oil leaks should be addressed quickly, as low fluid levels can damage their respective systems. Coolant leaks are not just a hazard to your vehicle, potentially causing overheating, but it can end up being a danger to your pets and any passing wildlife. Coolant often has a sweet taste, but is quite toxic. Brake fluid leaks pose the most pressing threat of danger, because as it leaks out, there will be a little bit of time where you may not notice anything as the reservoir reserves run dry, and then air eventually gets into the system, preventing your foot's braking effort from making it to the wheels. Definitely a dangerous situation that you don't want to experience. A gasoline leak may not cause a Hollywood size explosion in most scenarios, but it is definitely a fire hazard and you don't want to park a car leaking gas indoors, like in your garage. Now there's always going to be something tricky about your particular vehicle. Maybe there's an under tray that causes a leak to drip far away from its source. Maybe there are multiple leaks and all the fluids are cooked beyond recognition. There are going to be difficult situations that this video can't account for, but hopefully this was able to steer you in the right direction. Use the appropriate safety gear for the job, get those leaks fixed, and don't put the repair off. If you're not sure, have a professional take a look at it. If you're looking for more automotive fluid knowledge, there are a few car simplified videos already available to watch. Consider checking them out, and thanks for watching this one. However, depending on what it leaked on, the color of any coolant type may be difficult to determine. To determine. First, let's break it down by color. Mechanics, yellow will depend on the shade. A darker apple juice like color may be super fresh motor oil, gear oil, or moderately fresh brake fluid. That was weird pacing. A darker apple juice like color may be super fresh motor oil, gear oil, oil. Fluorescent yellow to green color is typically coolant, especially in vehicles that use the old school basic coolant. There are various shades of purple you may find, starting with a deep purple that... How about if you have a Subaru that came from the factory with blue coolant, you use blue washer fluid, and upgraded to that fancy blue brake fluid and motor oil. And upgraded to that fancy brute... Brake fluid leaks pose the most thr threat pressing. A gasoline leak may not cause a Halloween... Halloween.